Hey what's up guys, it's me APRM Games and welcome back to Jinx Mythic Magic. I am in my little spawn area. We actually have someone on the VC today. Say hello. You can say hello. Booga booga. <laughs> hello. Greetings. Greetings. He is, um, I don't know your name in game, but... I am Draconisk. Draconisk. Hello. Welcome. Thank I you. I, I, am, welcome. I, am at vi I am at a village. I wish I had neighbours, but I don't seem to have neighbours in this wee village area that I have my base in. Ah, uh, same. I actually ha have recent neighbours that I'm forced to move in. <laughs> well, the series is uh, the series is a precursor to Colony. Ah. Uh. But this time I will be playing with people in the VC chat playing with the people that are I don't know if this will record the audio thing from the discord it should do though mm. usually um, the server is kind of lively but not today very slow day today mm. okay well hopefully it's recording the, uh, the discord if it's not I'm going to be mad because I want to pl uh, record with people in the discord and in the series at the same time does that make sense uh, yeah Okay. What do you use to record? Uh, Fraps. Ah, uh, Fraps? Yeah. Free or paid? Uh, paid. I had to get uh, a paid version because I can record with the free version for the longest time that I record. I mean, I usually do like hour long videos. Ooh, hour long. Dang. Yeah. I'm getting there. My channel's so, getting there. I'm get I've got 150. No, 125. Subscribers or 126? It's either 125 or 126. So, do you do um, tutorials or? No, I just did. Um, well, I should do tutorials, but I don't know the mod packs very well. <laughs> this mod pack is uh, it's a precursor to the um, the colony one. Technically, colony was supposed to end with me going into space and getting shot into this uh, server. Mm hmm. And then I would have to use magic to get back, which I think would be a cool kind of way of dealing with the whole, how did I get here? And I would just say magic. Doing a whole role play thing? Or... Yeah. Well, it's not role play. It, it was going to be with people in the server, but then I realized, hey, if I could just do it with people in the Discord chat instead of the actual server itself, I think it would be running. Ah. That sounds nutty. Eh, it's something to do. Freda Grimwald was slain by who? I don't know. Uh, uh, Dual Weird. Dual Weird. E. That's a witchery NPC. Oh. I want to do the witchery mod, but I have no clue on how to do it. So, okay. The rules are, if I'm doing a mod that I don't know, I can spawn the kits and do the kits, but I would rather learn the mod itself instead of doing the kits. So, for... A uh, set for mod packs that I'm going to learn completely by myself will be form craft and witchery. Any other mod that has to do with magic or anything like that, and I can't be arsed learning, I will use the kits in game. Uh, form craft is extremely um, lethargic and slow to progress in form craft. Well, I might do the form craft kit then just to get them started, but I would rather let the people on that's watching the series decide that. Um, so have you been playing this mod pack a lot recently or well when I'm not recording I kind of try and do uh, like progress on my base I mean if you're in game you can TPA to me and see what my base looks like I'm not really in game I'm kind of starter still yeah. I just have full Zavisio I have got Zavisio armor because of um, kits I, I like it because it helps me fly a bit but it feels kind of cheaty so I tried uh, not use it. I, I also updated the skin in game. Hold on, I'll just show the people. I uh, will just do this. This will be the um, Jinx skin. It's just my. It's just the colony skin with uh, a different kind of hairstyle, and um, the skin itself is actually a lot cleaner. So. Ah. Uh, it makes me look better. So sense. Jinx from League of Legends, or? Definitely League of Legends. No, I don't. I, I, do, I do like the game, but. It, it's kind of complicated half the time because of all the different characters. Ah. Uh, 
So I try and avoid anything that I don't understand. So that's one thing that I do not understand. Well, I mean, if you're wanting to branch out on your YouTube channel, you should play other games. Yeah, I, 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 mean, I mean, I've got Fallout, but it's modded, and I don't know if it's going to survive my computer because my computer's quite crap. Ah. Uh, I've also got um, the Space Engineers. I know that runs, but it, I don't really know if it'll run with, like, recording. I've got, like, different games. I've got Grand Theft Auto, but I don't play Grand Theft Auto that much on my in my spare time. The only time I ever play it is to, like, just rob banks and shit. Mm. Cause is your channel kid friendly or? It's I swear a lot, but that's just me. I mean, I don't post anything that's rude or offensive. I just swear a lot. Ah. Uh -huh. My whole channel uh, blub is I am a Scottish uh, YouTuber and streamer on YouTube and Twitch. I swear a lot, so be warned. Ah. Uh, so what do you usually stream? Uh, what do I use to stream or what do I usually stream? Usually stream. Well, uh, sometimes I just do like live updates on like the channel, like just stuff like that. Sometimes if I'm into a game, like for talk sake, if I'm into like um, Minecraft, I will do a live stream on that. I will play with the people mm. that's on the server, I will play with the people that's on the chat and I'll play like stuff like that. But I haven't been able to live stream for a bit because my setup is just tanked. It can't work at the moment. Uh, so I have that's to. Unfortunate. I have to rebind a load of different things. I have to reinstall the program that I was using to do the mm -hmm. thing. But it'll work. I I hope so anyway. So right. Okay. So today I am going to. I don't know what I'm going to do. So wait, are you in game or you're not? I know you are. You're draconist, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not entirely in game. I've set myself up with a automated farm, trying to farm resources. Well, it's and up I'm to people, just... it's up to the people who watch the series what I should do. If they want to do it as a like, because I've done the colony stuff where I've built everything by hand, I can use the kits more freely this time. Mm -hmm. But it's up to them. I mean, I would prefer to build by hand to get the resources other than just using kits. So today I am actually going to do some mine factory because I want to get some like power stuff up. Mm. Um, I suggest you build a reactor before you do any of that. Oh, I've already got the build. I've got, I've got, I've got the reactor. I used the kit to get the reactor because I built one of these on, off camera. Ah. Uh, so. What do you and, use? And, <clears throat> what do I use to power it? Yeah, what do you use to power it and uh, cool it? Oh, I, I've got a uh, disabled redstone and I've got eulorium at the moment. Ah, uh, so basic setup. A uh, basic setup, but it's quite big. It's quite tall. It's go. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how much it's running to power at the moment, but it's go. Um, four fuel rods and the max capability is. Is that? I think it's ninety six MB. Oh, millibuckets per second consumed, yeah, or that's a lot. Of, that's a lot. There's a lot of other zeros, but I couldn't be arsed just saying other zeros. <laughs> okay. Oh, so the fuel burnout. The, I need to figure it away. I cannot attach a wire here. Why can I not attach a wire there? I'm using the HV transformers, and I don't know how they work. Oh, from immersive engineering. Yeah, I. I'm not sure about those. I hand built the stuff from immersive engineering on the colony series, so I'm using the kits. Anything that I've used on the colony series, I can use again here with the kits. Ah. So, so if you've done it by hand in colony, you can do it here on the kits. Yeah, it's basically, it's basically I have the knowledge of the previous series. So I know what I can touch and what I can't touch. But there's magic mods that I can't touch because that wasn't in Colony at all. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think... I don't know. I never really had a chance to look at the mods that were in Colony before I decided. The series was starting to get stagnated. I was going to get uh, like a satellite up and running, but then they updated um, the um, 
advanced rocketry mod and they removed the stations or satellites I think, I think the builder because it completely just crashed the server ah uh, it's unfortunate eh, it happens some series works some series don't and I'm hoping this is one of these series that will just do the same as the colony it'll work with people enjoying it and having like just a good laugh at my just silly jokes and how mm. weird my vocabulary is because basically I I stumble over my words because I suffer from ADD and HD uh, no ADD uh. and OCD so I kind of I kind of forget what I'm doing and this is why I need this is why the series is going to work a wee bit better because if I have people in the discord talking with me and people in game as well just to help them out because I will be trusting people to build but I think I think I should do it not at my base so i might yeah set up a project later on for the series like um at the moment i'm building like a tower for like all my mm. magical stuff that's just made it a cobblestone but i'm making it so it'll look a wee bit more um right okay so medieval medieval and like like warped like it was spawned uh, in instead warped. of built uh. Like one of those. Like it was t twist twisted. Yeah, twisted towers that warp around the outside of a mountain. Ah. Well, that that's my plan anyway. So, the the series, um, will run with people on the server, just like. Probably in the Discord, just talk, talking away while I'm doing like building stuff. Uh, and I mean I don't mind that as long as there's no like rude or offensive behaviour being said in the discord because they'll just stop that completely you can swear yeah. and that's basically it just as long as you're not like being, being completely... racist or... I basically I don't want my channel mm. to be shut down <laughs> don't want to get demonetized I don't have enough subscribers to get money anyway so I don't really I don't really bother mm -hmm. at the moment, but I do want to make this a business, so. Oh, have you heard of the, um, world wonder of the server? What? There's a wonder of the server, I'm currently trying to remember where it was. But it is a huge pyramid built entirely by hand. Cool. That actually sounds awesome. That sounds like something that I would build in creative mode and then forget completely about. I should play yeah, it. A... I, I wish there was a server where there was all this like creative mode, but you can always you can also be like in survival mode too. I'd probably be I'd probably yeah. be call the series cheat mode. And I would just build cheat on mode. the server. That's all I would do. I'd probably just build. Cheat mode, yeah. Mm. <laughs> I think that would be a cool uh, series idea. Mm-hmm. Sounds pretty interesting. So, and, um, the thing about the pyramid, if you can ever find it, just, like, go inside and just adventure. Oh, is it like it a giant maze? Huge labyrinth, multiple floors, all done by hand, all decorated, too. Jesus, that must have took a while. Huh? Yeah, all solo as well. Surprisingly. Jesus Christ almighty and a bicycle up in heaven. Mm hmm. Um, he goes by the username Om Omnibus on the server. So if you see him, ask him to show you the pyramid. I will do. Okay. I have my magical crops set up, but I used a kit for that. So I'm kind of like worried that that'll be a problem. But I'm not going to bother with the whole magical seeds. I'm just trying to grow. Um, power completely from my magical seed so I can power my set it up at the top of the base. Ah. Uh, holy um, crap, someone griefed this base. I apparently the claim system, the golden shovel can, can sometimes glitch. Yeah, someone really griefed it. Well, oh crap, there's a mandrake. Oof. It doesn't look like anybody's been at my base, so I'm just gonna glad for that at the moment <laughs> <clears throat> I mean people in the discord said they'll keep an eye out for my base whenever I'm off huh? I mean it's not that 
it's not like they can't find it. I mean, there was coordinates in the first episode. Actually, I think it was first and second episode. This is the third episode with actually people in it. I mean, you're in the you're in the world itself, and um. Mm. This is unfortunate. Someone really destroyed this base. Yeah. It happens. I mean, people just find their way to grief, uh, and it's annoying. Okay, I need to Actually, find. I need to find sand. That's what I need to do. I so should look for beaches. That's where they usually are. All right, I'm just gonna do RTP. Random teleport somewhere. RTP can be very useful and also very like interesting exploration. I uh, because sometimes but you can good... end up somewhere that you don't even know where the fuck you are. I mean, the last mm -hmm. time I did an RTP, I ended up. I think it was in Colony. I ended up next to a um, a blaze spawner. Like somebody set up a blaze spawner outside the Nether, so it was in the main world, and oh. I, I went there to kill some blazes. And I was like, okay, I found this. I better, I better make sure that. I think it was in video actually. Okay, I'm gonna do RTP. I'm I'm not flying there. RTP. End of teleport system. I teleported to fuck knows where. Sometimes you can find really like old bases with some interesting loot. I don't want to raid anybody's base. That's another rule on the server that I'm not gonna do. If I find someone's base that's been like abandoned or they've just set up on they have need then the new claim system, I'll just avoid. Yeah. Because there's some actually really cool bases that have really nothing interesting in them, but are really well built and sometimes have signs in them so you can explore the history. I think I Usually found... good fun. Whoa, what the fuck is this? Mm hmm. I found like a giant. I think this is someone's base. There's Cute. a load of mob heads, like leaves and chests everywhere. It is someone's base. Jesus Christ, this is amazing. It looks like, it looks like whoever had this started it small and then built outwards. Cause it looks like they they found a village and now they're living in the village. Does that make sense? Ah. Uh, so it's it, it. It looks like whatever. I think they random teleported found a place that kind of looks. Oh my god, it is quite cool. They've got um the um witchery circles. They've got a weird farm area. They've got more oh, this mm. place is actually quite cool. I like like finding I like finding people's bases and just being like, Okay, I need to kinda use some ideas from their base to try and make my base a wee bit more exciting. Efficient. Yeah. Uh, uh, exciting and efficient at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to leave the village alone. Let them have their wee fun. If I leave Dang, people exciting. alone, they won't raid me. Hopefully. Raiding is not entirely a big problem here, but... Griefing is a part of it. can happen. Yeah, very much so. Especially these group of um, griefers who no one really knows who do does it, but they're suspects. And it's been very widespread of people bypassing the claim system. It's been a very big problem here. The mods should fix some shit. But I know for a fact the grief spawn, because spawn is completely trashed. At, at the moment? Yeah, I mean, I think it was the last time I was on the, the vote crate system. The, the crates that they have set up at spawn where you can have a key and mm -hmm. you click on the chest and it gives you shit. It, it, half of the chests were gone. I don't know if I was recording at the time, but I f don't think I was. So I was like, shit, I can't report this. Usually it happens a lot on this server. That kind of thing. But we're not... There's a big... um. Actually, there was actually a bounty posted on whoever could find whoever did this. Any information at all. Mm. So if you catch anyone in the act, 
it when you're recording. You might want to afford it to the mods. Uh, Get that bounty money. That would be interesting. Okay, I still don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I need to. Oh, I, I, never mind. I, I was just about to say, I need to find a saw, sand area and then they'll look like not that far away from where I RTP'd from. I was like, okay, I found an area. I should also mm, get myself that... some, like, um, cactus and set up a small cactus farm. Yeah. Mm. Usually you can um, automate that with um, autonomous activators. Mm-hmm. I tried to use them in um, Colony to automate the, automate, I think it's the immersive, not, not the immersive engineering, the computers, the grinding system, uh, but I don't think that works. Uh, the one where you have yeah, to hand it? crank it. Yeah, that's unfortunate. It's fine. I don't mind. Um. I've got the platinum ranking game now because your boy got money. Dang. So I bought stacks the. On stacks on stacks. I bought the. I'm just getting the global rank upgrade. So anytime I'm in a new server, because I will be going back to Colony to finish a build that I'm doing. It's my um, Sif tower that's completely made out of obsidian, but I don't have enough obsidian at the moment, so I'm kind of just. As long as people are on the server, my obsidian production will keep going until I run out of power. I should actually go back on there to check to see if I run out of power. But I've got solar ah. generators up and running, so I shouldn't be technically running out of power at any time soon. So, do you recommend Colony? I've been, I've been Col kind of Colony, interested in Colony's good. It's just space exploration, which I enjoyed because. Originally, I had another series that I was doing on my channel called um, The Lone Voyage, which would have been the beginning of the whole roleplay scenario thing. It would have been the... Uh, it was the High Seas mod pack where you were pirates and you could build um, ships with this ship mod. That basically... It Ooh. was like the... You ever heard of a mod called Archimedes Ships? It's kind of like that. It's yes. Where it removes the whole air balloon things but then they did eventually add that to the mud pack because I think they saw my video on, or somebody suggested it but the Archimedia ships is basically the advanced version of piloting a big ship through the water now you can fly it I love playing mm. on that mud pack but then they updated the, the server the server re then reset because of the update and I lost a lot of shit and I was like okay I'm not doing this series again because I have to rebuild everything Dang. But then I was like, yes. hold on a second, I could do it again in a future or thing, and then I was like, okay, I have to have a plan. I already had a plan in mind, so shall I just skip ahead to the next one, or just try and avoid it altogether? So I was like, you know what, oh. go to the next chapter in my story that I had in my head, which was space. Mm -hmm. It made sense in my head, what's after the, the seas, space, and what's after space? Magic. My god, what is this? I don't There's know. skeleton kings everywhere. I found a village. Does that, does that help you? Uh, kind of. I'm being swarmed by starter bosses. Not sure how these things spawned. Oh my god, there's spawn. a castle. Oh, a castle? I, it looks like it's been built by a player because it looks like it looks oh in the village yeah it, it, it looks like one of these um i mean it probably was in the oh there's books here as well i believe that's um pre-generated mm, probably it does look like um a thing that's been like spawned in when the world was built yeah, it doesn't. Look they like, come. Through. It doesn't look like anybody's built it because when I started this series, I had a plan in mind. I was going to do what I did on Colony, start small and then build outward instead of building upward like I did in Colony. Hmm. <clears throat> so.
So, I hope that this is recording your audio, by the way, the, the fraps thing. When I'm editing, I'll have to check to see if it's working. Because if it isn't working, then... What's the I should try and see if I can download another one to see if I can record your audio at the same time. Uh, well, Discord audio, does that make sense? I mean, yeah. If you don't record Discord audio, that's all good. You could just sound like a madman talking to yourself. I mean, I'd sound like that at the time anyway when I'm doing my videos. So I don't really, I, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> okay, so I have set up, I've set up like two ways into my base now. I've got a secret way that I've probably shown on camera already. And I, I've got my waterway, which is basically a giant um, centralized object that's sitting where my base is. It's like a funnel that leads up to where my like resort is. Originally, originally the series is going to be like episodic, so whatever happens like big will be shown on camera, whatever happens like small will be shown off camera. Like if I do builds, that'll happen off camera, like my giant tower. I haven't made any progress on it because I need fucking uh, cobblestone and I need to set up a production line for cobblestone. Actually, I should do automation for it. I could set up a, um, a cheaty way. There is actually a really good cheaty way. That's yeah, yeah, kind yeah. of power intensive. It probably is the it. way I'm thinking of as well. Lava generator and a, a lava fabricator? Yeah, I think that's the same way I'm thinking of it. That's the one I'm currently using. Power yeah. intensive, but really fast. Okay, so well, I, I've got a plan in mind for how I'm going to expand my base outwards. But at the moment, I don't want to bother with it, if you know what I mean. Because uh, it'll just... be too long to show in a video, so it's just going to be one of these um, whatever happens, happens kind of deals. Uh, have you thought about doing time lapses? Like, like in game? Like a time lapse. You take a bunch of footage, speed it up, and edit together. Oh, I don't know how to do that. Ah. Uh, well, it'd be a really good interest, interesting thing to show off your builds. I mean, anything that I build on, this, on the server will be shown in a video anyway, so it doesn't really matter if I don't do the time lapses. The only thing that ch will change is, like, right now I'm looking at my tower of uh, well it's going to be called witchery at the moment but I don't really have an idea for what I'm going to do because I'm going to do farmcraft I'm going to do witchery and I'm going to do everything in this tower so mm -hmm. the whole idea of this tower is it's going to reach up as far as it can go and then it will slide down like the top of the tower will just be bent slightly and then it will fall down like it's been crumbling mm hmm so a fallen tower? Yeah, kinda. Except for it's not gonna be. It's gonna be. It, it'll look too pristine, but the top it'll be like really ancient. So mm. it'll be like the the bottom floors of it'll, it'll be like witchery and then farm craft and then whatever mod, magic mod I do and then it'll be the top and then it'll just have fallen off because I don't use the top. Hmm. I do like that idea. The only problem is, I'm in a kind of snow biome, so any time it snows, it kind of fucks up my nice. whole plan. <laughs> Just snows inside. Yeah. I might. I might do my other plan that I was thinking about doing. Okay, I need to. Today has just been a weird day today. I haven't had plans really to do any recordings recently because I've just been not well. So this being kind of, uh, do I want to record? No, I want to go back to my bed. But today I feel <laughs> a lot better than a years than a day when I'm not well. So I was like, okay, I'd better do a video before people will be like, where are you? He's been kidnapped. No. Ooh. I don't think people think that, but it would be interesting if they did think that. <laughs> I do like my new skin. It looks more um, magic 
On the back there's a big M, but you can't really see it because of what I'm wearing at the moment. I'm wearing the um the trousers stuff in my um cosmetic armors. So because I'm wearing the uh Zippy Seal stuff it looks weird. I know it's purple but it looks weird on my character with this new skin. Mm. So I like the um travelers gear because at least you can see the skin. Ugh, excuse me. Yeah, it's good. Currently trying to build it. Ooh. Person's trying to set up a faction with, with slaves. Okay. I did I saw that in chat and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> this person's a weirdo, they're in the middle of nowhere and they have like a little tower gang build. <laughs> so like me, except for I'm not looking for slaves. Yes. This I person mean, people I would trust people to help build the witchery tower if I wasn't worried about them griefing it later when I leave. Uh Usually you should like get friends into uh doing that. But I don't have friends. Oof at all? Not in Discord, no. Uh none who play. None who play. I mean yeah, I do have friends, they do, they just don't play Minecraft. And if they do yeah. then they're only like single player mode. I've been playing Minecraft because I've been high stress recently. Hmm. Wait, How about you? I, I play um I play it because it's just fun. I I, I watched um like YouTubers play Minecraft and I was like, okay, this is actually quite fun, I like it. And then when modded, when they started modding it, I was like, okay, this is actually more exciting. I like the mods. I want to play more. Mm -hmm. Um, It's really weird when you get down to the whole... Oh, by the way, the, 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 there's this the mod and then there's, there's, the, the, there's that mod and then, oh god, it gets confusing. Uh... So, what's your, like, favorite mod pack? Oh, tech it. I love Tech it. Tech it mod pack? Yeah, Tech it. It's basically every other mod that you can think of. And it's got nukes on it. I just love doing the single player world, spawning in a load of nukes, and then crashing my computer. Oof. Just but, nuke the whole world? Yeah, just nuke the whole world. Well... I found a village, like, story time, found a village in a single player world and I was like, okay, I'm going to set up a small base, built the base off camera in cheat mode and then spawned in a load of nukes, went into survival mode. The bunker was underneath the whole village and it was made it a obsidian and I love the fact that obsidian doesn't blow up when you use these nukes. So I was like, okay, this is what's going to happen, I'm going to build a giant orb-like sphere. It didn't look like an orb when I built it, it looked like a giant cube. And then set it off. Four Ooh. hours later, the server kicked uh, the the server kicked kicked back in, and I saw this giant crater and no bunker. Uh, all the obsidian blew up. Yeah, all the obsidian blew up. I tested it before with one nuke, and it didn't blow up the obsidian. But I think I had like twelve times twelve times twelve, so it was a big square of, of just nukes. this this nukes that I placed by hand because I didn't have any other mod to like cheat to do that. So I was like, by hand, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Nuke! Four hours later. Like, I actually had to count because I have I had to wander off to get myself something to eat because I was hungry. Hungry boy need food in real life. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, I'm going to have to wait until this server kicks back in. And it didn't. Mm. And it didn't. So I was like, okay, this is this is dumb. I don't like it anymore. <laughs> There's certain mods that I won't touch at all because I can't understand them. Such as? Um, there's... I think there's a mod in this game that's blood magic or something like that and I won't touch it. It's just too uh, complicated. Blood magic is really complicated. I've dabbled in it a bit, but it's just tedious. 
it's not the fact that it's tedious. Like, there's um, there's an item in game. You have to kill like a load of like peaceful entities or mobs to get this item, and I don't know what it's called. Uh, oh, do you know what the difference between regular dollies and um, diamond dollies are? Uh, no. Ah. Uh, so I've been kind of confused about that. Also, would you like a donation of cobblestone for your build? Oh, if you don't mind. See, I'm going to set up a, like, if people want to help the series, I'll set up, like, a, um... Donation a, box? A mailbox kind of thing, so if they want any help, they can just send, uh, put shit in the mailbox. Mm. Put it near spawn somewhere. Right. I do that anyway. I'll, I I just put it outside the well. I'll put it in spawn with a hopper on top, so they can just chuck it in the hopper. Ah, doesn't really. Uh, hoppers don't do, put stuff into any of the modded chests. Only basic. I know. I don't have any modded chests when I'm making a mailbox. I just put like basic noob chests. Um. Okay. I don't know if this is gonna work. I want to do immersive engineering to power power a project that I'm thinking about doing. But I don't know if these connection wires are working correctly. It's confusing. I never got into that. I usually just use the uh what do you call them? The thermal it's dynamics, leadstone, flux ducts. I bet they don't have this in this one. They have it. Um, it's called leadstone flux ducts. Oh, so they do have it. So it might be. Correct. It's just gonna take up a lot of space. They also they don't have AE two. Actually, they do. They have A for, which I've never actually attempted the A for mod. A for mod. Aye, the A for mod. Oh, Aether, sorry. Scottish accent. Not used to it. Don't worry about it. Also, by the way, do you know about the um, thing about the server? You can't keep your items if you die in another dimension. Yeah, only in the overworld. Yeah. Only in the spawn. You can keep your items in the spawn, but any other universe. If you die, you don't get to keep anything. Yeah, I made a mistake of entering a water portal into a world of just water, and drowned. <laughs> Sorry, I just as I yeah, just laugh. as items were being cleared too. I shouldn't be laugh. Like as soon as I died, there's ten seconds on the uh, item clear. So you lost a lot of shit. Yeah, like all my I had to make like five sets of Visio armor, like my whole playthrough here. Jesus. I. Gave some away, gave some to friends, sold one, and lost three. That math doesn't add up, but... It's about right. Okay. So, do I just TPA to you with the all the yeah. cobblestone? Yeah, I'm in my base, okay. it's fine. Uh, it's all one word, by the way. Got it. I have caps all coin for some strange reason. Hmm. I have a dolly with a diamond, uh, golden chest. Uh, Where do you want me to? Oh wow, you look cool. Yeah. Your skin is awesome. You're the T100, uh, aren't you? Yeah, T100. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll just go plop this outside. Like out here or anywhere specific, like on the tower or. Uh, no, the tower's claimed. You could just throw it ah. at me. Ah, yeah, here you go. Uh, flying back in. Oh, uh, where'd you go? Oh. I was following you. Oh. Dang. <laughs> it's fine. Do you want the dolly back? Uh, yes, please. I actually just upgraded I'm not sure what the difference is. Showing this in a regular dolly. I think that removes the mining fatigue from you. I don't know. That's yeah, this that's is a lot of cobblestone. You can see the tower. 
Yeah. Also, um, these HV capacitors, do they just connect each other if they're in range? No, they or... store they store power. They also connect to other mods that don't work correctly, like um the mine factory reloaded ones, they don't power correctly, so if you connect them to an HV com capacitor they power correctly. Hmm. Huh. That's interesting. So what do you have this um, Rednet Energy Cable connected to? Okay, this is going to be connected to my. Um, okay, I want to build the. I want to build a factory, right? A mine factory. Outside. Right. So it Here? will be around this area. It will just be off this like wee little mountainside. But I want to just power... a whole factory. Yeah, just a whole a whole factory. It will be to build basically automation to help me do stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, powered by a solo nuclear reactor or by the nuclear reactor in your base? Probably by the nuclear reactor and if I can find out if there's solar generators or something like that. There is solar generators, I might do that as well. From extra utilities. Uh, right. Is this your tower of magic? Uh, it, this is over here, yes. <laughs> right now it's cobblestone but as we get up it'll turn like older and older and older and then it'll just fall over. Ah. Uh, are you planning on using mossy cobblestone? Yeah, it'll go from this kind of cobblestone to older cobblestone. At the moment this is the... It's like, I'm going to replace this uh, ancient cobblestone with obsidian when I find some. And it'll be uh, like so evil tendrils yeah. that'll come from the water. Like hmm. Fomcraft tendrils. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like purple oh. veins of evil magic. Also, um, just a word of warning. Do you know about taint? Yes, I do. In the server? Yeah, be careful about that. Yeah. Reefers have been using it to destroy uh, flame blocks. So, so you might want to be aware. I, I know, I'll probably do it over there because the, the, this area is unclaimed. So I might just claim this area and set up a taint area because I mean this uh, is flat enough for it yeah best best way to do it is to um, isolate it from the ground have no connecting blocks I know I'm gonna build a I'm gonna build cobblestone around the outside of the, the, this square here the one that's got snow on it and then just cover uh. it with cobblestone so the tent can't escape mm hmm that's rather creative. Mm -hmm. hmm. I mean, why not? You know? Okay, these villages, this is new. This is not like naturally generated. But hmm. the village. These towers? Never seen them before. Oh, uh, these are. I think they're new. I think they've been added um, um, an update or something like that. But uh, this, this, is like is where, this, is, this is the village that I live in. I don't think any other players live here, but this did look. It does look like some used to live here because there's like um, tinker stuff here. Yeah, in the corner in this yeah. base. It's not claimed, so I don't. Probably know. ancient. Ancient history. <laughs> I need to go grab my golden shovel and claim that area. Ah. I see you have like three meteors in the area. They've all been raided. So that implies people have been here and here, plus the torches. All raided. Usually I RTP and explore the world to try find old bases and see like what they were up to. It's an interesting find. But some villages you'll just find like random chests that have nothing yeah, in them. And you're like, why did they take everything but the chests? Yeah. That's... It's a wee bit confusing. Okay, so there's a mod that I will not touch in this series, so I use the crate. The kit crate to do it completely. So it's Ars Magica. Which one? Oh, Ars Magica. I am not touching that mod. At all? No. Why? It is too complicated. I looked at the Wikipedia page and I was like, Nope, this is too complicated. I'm going to back away and just use the kits. 
uh, Thalmcraft is actually more uh, complicated than um, I but Ars the Ars Magica um, Wikipedia page confused me. At least I can understand the. It had no pictures. Okay. The oh, Ars Magica why. one. I had no pictures. At least the Thalmcraft has pictures. Because mm -hmm. they expect you to read the book in game. Yeah, it's basically why they have it. Mm -hmm. So I was like, no, I'm not going to do that. I like to look at the Wikipedia page when I'm researching mods so I can understand what goes where. And I like to have recipes on how to build like certain builds. Because some mods have like multi-box structures, like the tech it one. Mm-hmm. And it confused a lot me. of the multi really the ticket one yeah at first it confused me it's like what multi-block structures were there in ticket well i think it was in a new update but they added um i think it was advanced machines but i'm not sure if that is a mod that i remember correctly advanced machines lets you build like planes and shit and I think that has a multi-block structure hmm okay I've claimed this area that will be my taint area <laughs> I mean why not it's it's far away from anything that would be a wee bit mm, confusing you know yeah I just don't want every, everything juggling together So this will be taint. So, yeah. It's quite far away from this village as well. I mean, if you're not happy where you, where you live, you can move here, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to convince mm. people to move next to the area where I live, so I have neighbours. I killed a There's... mana elemental from... What mod? Um, the I think it's from the, fuck my brain it's just not gonna let me say the word Druidry? no not Druidry the lightsaber printer, the lightsaber zombies freak me out whenever I see them I'm like lightsaber zombies kill them with fire they one hit kill Without Zivisio. I know, I got killed by them when I was doing nub things. I'm fine now. Ah. I really want to take that light, their lightsabers because I like that mod a lot from the um, thing, but I don't think there's a way to build them. So There aren't, there isn't a way to build it, I don't think. But there's a way to uh, loot it, but I think that's patched. Okay. There was a shop selling them actually in the <clears throat> player shops, but I believe that one got grief. Hmm. Fair enough. Ugh. So I found a bunch of animals that were named, and I kidnapped them, and someone named them these chickens: cock, uh, cock with a lower C, and dick. So why, now they're just people? chilling in my house. Why? 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 I don't even know why they I laughed in... that. That was, that was dumb. It was. Just know. three chickens. Cock, cock, and dick. Cock. Cock with a little C and dick. Yeah, there's just, just this dick there. I guess they couldn't even think of a different name. I haven't renamed them, I just keep them around. I mean, they and give they you eat. infinite eggs, so why not? Yeah. But they're annoyingly loud. Oh, I don't have in-game sound. Ah. Uh, I keep my in-game sound on, because sometimes there are things like, um, you want to hear, such as creatures or, um, 
A lot of um, really scary creatures spawn and you don't know where they are. I mean, I understand what you're getting at, but because of new guidelines to YouTube, if you have in game music, you can be copyright yeah. straight. Uh, Minecraft I, is copyrighted music now. I'd like to keep my channel so I keep it off. Oh, uh, the mod is Ars Magica 2, by the way. Ah. The mana elemental. I just remembered. Actually, I was looking at witchery wood planks. These are gross, the witchery wood planks. I don't like them. The, the witch wood? The witch wood. Mm, yeah, the, the, they're kind of nasty to look at. If, if there was a way to chisel them to make them a look, look a wee, wee bit, at least a wee bit better, I would chisel them. But there's no chisel blocks for them. I mean, yeah, I might need to. I might need. I might need to see if I can find a texture pack that changes it. I think there might be one. I remember seeing one. Oh, do you plan to, on going into witchery? Yeah, I I did say that I was doing that mod. Yeah. Have you um researched it or? I will be. When I'm doing the mod that I don't know, I will do. I will look up the Wikipedia article on the mod itself to do research. Ah. Uh. But there is in-game books that actually make a wee bit, little bit of sense with the um, witch raid that I actually do like. The Aris Magica book in-game is just confusing. Yeah, it's really full of text. Thomcraft book isn't any better though. Aye, but at least you can look up the Wikipedia article for the Thomcraft and it has pictures. Yeah, that's true. Let's see. Okay, so I set up two spawn area things for things, but then I realized I kind of had to cheat my way into one of the areas because it reset. Oh. I, um, my magical crop one got deleted because of my edicy off camera. Yeah, I abandoned uh, my house by accident so I had to re home everything that was fun mm -hmm. so yeah I have, a, I have a project that I want to plan to do in this series but I might have to ask people on the server to help me with it there's a cave system uh -huh. under my base that I want to explore, but there's a load of different mobs that I don't understand. I know there's vanilla mobs, but there's the Druidry mod. That adds ah, the Druidry mod. The lightsaber zombies that I hate. Um, so yeah, that that might be fun to attempt to do with people. Mm. There's also Botania, actually. Or Botanica? I like Botanica. Or Botania as I call it. Yeah. Botania is okay. I... It's not that hard to understand, but sometimes you can get sidetracked by different mods. Yeah. I mean, I've been thinking about going into it. But there there was only one advice? mod that I enjoyed to play a bit with in the, um, the colony series and that was advanced rocketry because it added like a harder element even though i complained about it in the series i enjoyed it to a fault it was fun i i couldn't fault it it was just exciting to attempt to understand because i was literally like scratching my head at what do i have to do wikipedia article please just tell me what to do it, uh. it was just that all the time and i was like okay this is actually quite easy now now that I know that this goes here, that goes there, and this is this isn't as complicated as I thought it was now, but it was it was complicated at first when you first attempt to do a mod and you don't understand it. It is complicated at first. You're like, okay, this is actually quite hard. Wikipedia articles, always with that fail. Look up Wikipedia articles on mod packs. Hmm. If you're an up and coming YouTuber and you're doing like uh, Minecraft mods, Wikipedia them. Always without fail. Just do it because it will save you a lot of time scratching your head. A lot of effort.
I know for a fact that when I'm doing the Witchery mod, I will have to do a secret project with it. Ah. I think they've removed the death protection poppets. I don't think it really oh, matters. Nice. Hmm? Death protection poppets you can use to bound to other players and yourself, so you won't die. Yeah, but I think I they've believe. patched that, or they've added it to the items that you're no longer allowed to craft. I don't believe so. I think they just uh, nerfed it. Because it's not that strong for what it does. It just makes sure you don't die, but if the player takes on a, a, a same amount of damage, it goes to the person that it's bound to. Yeah. I mean, I want to do it, uh, bind it to someone on the server that's causing trouble, and find one of those lightsaber zombies, make three of them get hit three times by those lightsaber zombies, and just laugh uh, I actually there's a, that's actually a band I think along with um, curses on witchery fair enough I wouldn't have done it anyway if somebody had suggested oh by the way this is actually banned I don't know if it's banned I usually check spawn when I'm doing these series but sometimes I get sidetracked ah uh, yeah it's just still a, a wee bit more fun to actually find out what's banned and what's not banned by yourself. Yeah, I know for usually fact, no, when I was doing the colony asking. series, when I was doing the colony series, there was an item that was not banned that became banned because of my series. Ah, uh, what was the item? It caused problems and lag for the series, so I understood why it was banned. It was the um. Cumulus activator or something like that. It wasn't that. It was the item that can turn water and lava into obsidian. Oh, a cumulus uh, collector. That's yes. not banned here, actually. It was banned in Colony because it caused lag. Ah, uh, that must explain like a lot of lag here. A lot of people. Um. Well, I think it was because just... of me because I was recording with it, and the next day I was on, it was banned. Yeah. I, was, I was using it to build my um, Sith tower so I was like okay if it's banned I can't use it but I want to finish building my Sith tower so I have to keep using it I think someone captured a creature from the deep dark and teleported it into here that's, that's concerning <laughs> isn't there no supposed to be a a deep dark portal at spawn um, I don't believe so, because Deep Dark is a, um, it's just a, you know what Deep Dark is, right? Yeah, it's the, it's the place where the Yogg's cast got stuck for a bit. Ah, uh, you watched the Yogg's cast? I, they were the people that got me into doing YouTube. Ah. Uh, have you, Shadow of have you heard of it? Yeah, The Shadow of Israfel, I love that series. I want it to come back, but they're not gonna. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna bring it back at all. But I remember um, watching it for the first time when I was a kid. I, I, just, uh, I watched, went through the whole series. I, I I watched it when it first came in. It was like, okay, I'm not gonna watch it until they finish the series. They've never finished the series. Uh, I follow it episodically, and it like blew my mind with like how creative they were with the roleplay. Mm -hmm. uh, the world building. I like this whole the Yogg's Cave episode where it, they came back and it was blown up and Simon's just scream. It was like it was like you could feel it was like ah they the hammed pain and it anguish. Up. They hammed it up a wee bit but they knew for a fact that that's where they began so it was kind of expected yeah. to be a wee bit hammy and I loved it. Yeah. Me too. I especially love the um, old peculiar when they introduced this town. I think that was I think that was either Shin or Duncan playing them. I think it was Shin. I I know for a fact that Zephos and Israfel are the same person. Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, they're the same player. Because whenever. Whenever, um, <clears throat> whenever he was moving, um, 
whenever Zephos is moving, Azrafel was kind of stuck for a bit. Yeah. So it was like, okay, we need to make sure that this character moves and acts around in the universe. And I mean, I, we know for a fact that the entire world was built maybe by hand. By hand, maybe by hand. I doubt it was. I doubt there was creative mode back then, so I think it was all built by hand. I think it was built by hand. But I loved the Yogscast. They were the people that got me into doing YouTube. They were the people that got me into doing Minecraft. I loved it. Yeah. To this day, I still watch them. Even though they don't play Minecraft as often, to this day, I still watch them. I haven't watched them in a while. What do they do now? Um, mostly, they're doing Trouble in Terrorist Town and they're doing uh, GTA. Like the generic stuff. Yeah. Almost. They should go back to doing Minecraft. They were they were a wee bit more unique in their way of playthroughs. It wasn't the same old build this, do this kind of playthrough. When they did the Jaffa Factory, it was with a it was with a plan in mind. They had to build it because Simon was going to go mad with power, if not. Uh, I never really watched the Jaffa Factory. You should. It's funny as fuck. Like how long? How many episodes are there? I when they do a series, it's long. A good two hundred. I f maybe I don't know. It's the tech it one. Oh, the tech it. Yep, tech it mod pack. I'm really tempted to get tech it, but I'm. You should like, watch not their. Sure. Uh, well, there used to be more videos of the um, MoonQuest one that was moved to their website, but then the website domain got taken. So Someone bought it, right? Hmm? It's all modded. Any series they do is either modded. The only time they've ever done like not modded was for like Capture the Wool and stuff like that. Ah. Uh. You should watch the... The first ever modded series is the Tech Hit one. Uh, the Moon, not the Moon Quest, the um, Jaffa Factory. Jaffa Factory? Yeah, the Jaffa Factory is their first ever attempt into the modded series. I think, I'm not sure, it could have been, it could be something else, I could be completely wrong. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, in Shadow <coughs> of Visual I think they added mods. Cause yeah, I believe so. I think there's like mini maps and stuff added into the series to make it a wee bit more exciting so they actually didn't get lost. But I think the series started to get stagnated. I think they were starting to get okay, we have to do this really quick. They can not explore the world. It wasn't it wasn't um as exciting as it used to be. Ah. Sort of just died. Mm. It died when everybody just stopped watching, I guess. I mean, if they brought it back right now, I think for I th I know for a fact I think it would tank. It would most likely because there's not only many there's people. only so much you can do with a series before people will go. Yeah, this is just the same. But this yeah this is my series is supposed to be the same. It's supposed to be a one continuous universe. So my series just... is in the same universe as it was from the high seas to colony to this. It's all in one universe. It's just tef different timelines. Just all one continuity. Yeah. So I'm not. I'm not ruining like anything for people. It's just in the same universe, just different timelines. All continuity is correct in this universe. It all exists in the same frame space as it always has so I, I mean I probably am talking about it now but it was going to be that it's not anymore it's just well actually technically it still is in my head it's always going to be this hello Hello. welcome greetings APR M games yes are you that same guy that in the have that YouTube channel in colony 
Yes. I mean, like a long time ago. Oh, what's up? I'm okay. I'm recording right now, actually. Oh, did you? Uh, I see you have moved to Mythic. I am in Mythic. Oh. Yeah. Why? Uh, Why is that? Uh, the colony series started to get stagnated. Yeah. Have you tried Spellbound? Hmm. Oh, have no, you tried I'm... Spellbound? No. I'm gonna do. No? I'm gonna do Mythic. I don't oh. know if the Spellbound series will be. I don't know if the, the server will be good on my channel. So I was like, okay, this is actually a wee bit more to my speed. Okay. By the way, did you get your space station already? No, they updated the mod. Really? I they removed it. Oh. Because of crashing issues. Mm. Okay then. Unfortunate. Really? Well, I am recording right now, so would you want to say anything to the peoples? No, not really. I don't have anything to say. Okay, so you were in the colony series then? I was in the colony one time, but you were not recording. Uh, well, the I'm... time. <laughs> you were, it was that that same time when you uh, asked in chat if uh, if I should uh, launch the space uh, rocket or not. Like, before the recording or in the recording. I was like, no. I should have done it. Yeah, really. It happens. Mod packs get updated and changed. Some items get banned. Some items just crash altogether. It it, it happens. Yeah, it's so unfortunate. Like one my friend. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay. Hmm. People did enjoy the colony series. I might actually go and watch it when I have time. Full on watch the series. I mean, you should. I'm not going to suggest that you start straight off the colony. I think you should start with the first ever one that I did. That was multiplayer. Which was? Which was? I told you about it. It's the high seas one. Oh yeah, the high seas. Did is that mod pack still exist or? Yeah, it still exists. It's just that the the server changed and I can't be arsed rebuilding everything. Ah. Uh... I mean, it sounds stupid when I say it out loud, but then I was like, "Then I was like, wait, I I can do whatever I want." <laughs> as long as people enjoy it, I don't really care. A series could tank, but as long as people, as long as people are watching and giving me like criticisms on what I should do next, it works for uh. that kind of aspect. I mean, this series is going to be the same as it is on any YouTube channel. It will be slow at first, but when when I get into it, people will enjoy it. So I've mm. built the first floor of my little tower. I like it so far. It's getting. Oh, so what do you use to get rid of um, item ducks and stuff? You use um, wrenches, right? Yeah, wrenches. Ah. Uh. I, if the, if the mm. wrenches don't work the first time, it's probably because of lag. Ah. That's a good thing in Colony. If you co complain about the lag, you get an achievement. So I, I needed to do something. Did you? Oh, good. Did you mean to shoot someone? <laughs> no, not really. It's fine. Committed murder. No. I mean, I'm still on the colony um, server and shit building. Really? Yeah, because I still have to finish my Sith tower. Oh, your Sith tower? Yep. That big obsidian thing? Yep. Oh. I haven't okay. been on in a while, so I need to go check to see if anything's been changed. A really unfortunate uh, in Spellbound. One of my friends was mastering a, a mod called Impis, and boom, right as he did the last thing he needed. The mod got uh, got removed. Mm. It, so that was unfortunate. I mean, the advanced rocketry mod never got removed. It just got updated to remove the lag that oh. happens when you create these the 
Space station? Yeah, the space station, but then they removed the space station altogether because of the massive, lag. massive amounts of lag. So I was like, okay, this series is dead because that was the whole end point of the series. Getting that. So now you're just going to start a magic based one? Oh, I've started it. You did? Yeah. By the way, why do you, what is, I've just, I wanted to watch them, but then I forgot to, uh, to click when I left for like an hour. And it still ran. Like, the video still ran. Why do you do your video so goddamn long? Uh, like, so goddamn, like, far, like, and long? Because I, like, I get into a groove, and then I forget, oh, by the way, shit, I need to stop recording for a bit to do another <laughs> video. But then I'm like, you know what, I'll keep on going, because when I get into a groove, I can't stop. Yeah, it makes sense. Really. I mean, some people like the long episodes, some people don't. How many subs do you have now? 125 or 126. Oh, congratulations, I guess. It's not bad. I mean, people do get... People do leave because I, I'm i not doing what they like. But I'm like, okay. I can't do what you like, so... If, if, they, do, if they don't like what you like, they can go away. Yeah. They don't need to stay. They don't need to. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. I will be back on Colony, but I won't be recording. It'll, Makes sense. It'll be just to finish my little project, which was my Sith Tower, and then that's it. Yeah, I've already finished a lot of my stuff. I made even a shop that made us a lot more richer than even Gunner. Yeah. And we had everything we wanted. And the space station got removed, so yeah. So, we had all the goals achieved and at least I did and one of my friends okay I am going to end off the episode of mythic today uh, jinx actually sorry the, the series is called jinx really okay yeah so thank you so much for watching I have been APRM games also known as APRM live on twitch you can help out that channel too and I will see you guys next time peace out Wah! make sure to just sit like and subscribe <laughs>